Kenyan playwright, producer, and director of motion pictures, Wanyuri Kahia is one of Africa's most aspiring directors, being part of a new, vibrant crop of talents representing contemporary African culture. Is how many describe this woman? Her dramatic feature film from a whisper won Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Picture at the 2009 Africa Movie Awards. She has also garnered other nominations and accolades for the films that she has directed. In addition, she is a co-founder of the media collective AFRBUBBLEGUM, whose mission is to promote African art for its own reason. Kenya's Nairobi was Kahiu's birthplace. She currently splits her time between Mombasa and Nairobi, Kenya. The director, whose father is a businessman and her mother is a doctor, characterizes herself as the black sheep of her conservative parents in an interview with Vogue Italia. However, her uncle is a sculptor and her aunt is an actress in Kenya. Her mother was one of the first female pediatricians in the community where they resided, thus she comes from a long history of strong, forward-thinking women. Growing up in Kenya, Kahiu notes in her 2014 TED presentation, No More Labels, that she didn't see many African love stories. That's why she tries to portray similar love stories in several of her works. Kahia made the decision to follow her artistic career despite her family's professional experience in the arts. She fell in love with filmmaking at the age of 16, inspired by her love of reading and storytelling. But Kahia chose to enroll in the University of Warwick in England to pursue a proper degree after finishing high school. She chose to return to the arts after earning a Bachelor of Science in Management Science from the University of Warwick in 2001. She did this by enrolling in the University of California, Los Angeles School of Theater, Film, and Television's Master of Fine Arts program in production slash directing. In order to get started in the film industry, Kahiu worked as an intern in F. Gary Gray's office, where she was able to assist with the production of his 2003 movie The Italian Job. She says that Gray instilled in her the value of not taking the details for granted, while maintaining an awareness of the wider picture. In 2006, Kahia made her directorial debut with the behind-the-scenes documentary The Spark That Unites, which was based on Philip Noyce's feature film Catch a Fire. Kahiu and Noyce became great friends while working together. Speaking about this encounter, Kahia recalls that Noyce was the one who urged her to return to Kenya to share stories. Noyce stressed the significance of being a local success first before becoming an international storyteller, as she explained. African futurism is something that Kahiu uses as inspiration and as a means of artistic expression. Kahiu has argued that African peoples and cultures have been thinking Afro-futuristically for millennia, if not longer, based on the richness, strength, and histories of African myths, spiritualities, and naturalisms. She views Africa primarily as being in close proximity to the spirit realm, which permits the melding of spirituality with reality in both experienced reality and stories. She presents Africa as an innately futuristic continent that subverts and eliminates Western distinctions between nature, technology, and linear time. Africa's future is far more ancient, complex, and abundant than anything the West has ever imagined. African futurism is currently undergoing a post-colonial recovery of its own timelines, narratives, and locations, according to Kahiu. This is made clear in Pumzi, where it is demonstrated that reuse and reclamation are genuinely native African methods. Pumzi critiques Afro-pessimism with his advocacy of an Afrocentric future. Using the aesthetics of Afrofuturism to highlight African-led creativity, Kahiu opposes the dismal portrayal. Of African realities and prospects in Pumzi. Kahi also expressed her enjoyment of the sci-fi genre in an interview with Variety, citing its flexibility and the ability to use metaphors to say a lot more challenging things about the politics or social climate in Africa. Dream detective. Take your dreams away.
The one you sent. The box with no delivery number. I didn't send anything. Reported to security and move on. This could mean there's life on the outside. You are not qualified to determine that. Forward your work to the science lab. I'd like to apply for an exit visa to go outside. If I could find the original soil, I could... The outside is dead. But the soil is alive. Take your dreams and reasons. But I know it's alive. It has to. You were compromised by failure. You should have taken your medication. I have been taking them. I can't help you. What about the plan? Okay. And they're speaking to each other. And maybe now it's time for the hunter to learn their joy-filled language. Thank you so much. Thank you.